Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to the Prince of Investment, coming to you guys and girls live all the way from the beautiful city and state of Denver, Colorado, via Honolulu, Hawaii. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button, and leave your comments below. So as we're streaming live today, and as you can see in the description box and the title, we have a very interesting episode coming up to you guys and girls live today. So we all heard about the concept of raising your credit score. So many people ask me, hey, how can I raise my credit score? You see so many advertisements about, hey, we can do credit repair, help this to do this to raise your score, also so many ways. But if you're like me, in my younger years, uh, serving in the military, um, you didn't have to, the only way I raised my credit score was I took out loans, I used credit cards, but overall I was pretty responsible and that was key in order for me to raise my credit score. But I came across this very, very interesting company that does something very, very cool. So what they do is for most people, when you're young, you maybe have an apartment, maybe you may have your own apartment, or you maybe may even be living with your parents. So what they do is like, hey, if you are paying rent somewhere, they found a way to report this to the credit bureau for you in return to increase your credit score. I thought that was pretty cool. So today's episode and topic, we're going to talk about using your credit with Rental Karma to increase your credit score. But here live today in the studio to have joining joining us is Miss Phoenix Jackson. She is the Chief Communications Officer coming all the way live from I think she's in Houston, Texas. Please, hopefully, I didn't misquote that. So how are you doing today, Miss <laughs> Jackson? I am good. And yes, I'm here in Houston, Texas. I yeah. somewhat miss Denver and my peeps out there. So nice to be on with you, Prince. And thank you guys for having me here to talk about this beautiful service that we provide. Okay, cool, cool. So first, for people out there who may not know, can you tell them about Rental Karma, karma in, general, in general? Yes. So as Prince already stated, we are a company that will take your rent history and your rent payments and place it on your credit report, right? Um, there are over 109 million renters in America. That's over a third of the population. And we just didn't think it was fair that people who spend 30 to 50% of their income on their rent are not having that be accounted on their credit score, just like a mortgage is, right? Your mortgage payment is on your credit report, your credit card payments, your uh, car payments on your credit report. And now, of course, like Experian has Experian Boost where you can add your Netflix payment and any other type of subscription payments. But we just didn't think it was fair for people who are working hard every day, who are at times even struggling to make ends meet, that they are having to you know, pay that rent and they, they're not getting any credit benefit from it at all. So um, my partner, Colin Canizares, CEO of Rental Karma, came up with this idea some years ago about doing this particular, you know, service for, you know, other Americans. And you know what, it's been such a great thing. People, when they find out about it, they're like, oh, that's an easy duh. Like, why didn't they do this before, you know? And we're, you mm -hmm. know, providing a service that's definitely needed. Okay. Well, now people that listen to this, because, you know, growing mm -hmm. up, I saw so many people that use just, you know, that live in apartments, maybe their whole life, yeah. uh, maybe they're just renting for their whole life. And I always was kind of like, hey, we know, well, how, what can you do to help bolster that, to push them to the next level? So my next question to you, someone who's listening, tuning in and saying, hey, wow, I didn't know I could do that. How exactly could they do that? All they have to do is go to our website at rentalkarma.com. And we'll have the information I'm sure on here to share. And you just take the steps to see if you pre-qualify. 95% of people actually qualify to be, you know, featured and to have their rental history featured onto their credit report. So just take those steps, go to rentalkarma.com, set up your quick profile, answer the quick questions, and then we will go through the verification process to see if you qualify. And 95% is a very big number. Like, so that's basically mostly everyone actually qualifies to get their rental history and their current rental payments to be featured on their credit report. We do have our current relationships with both TransUnion and Equifax. So those are the two companies that your rent will be reported on. And the average score is a 40 point increase, which is wow. pretty good. That usually 
for people who, let's say someone's looking to buy a home and they need that extra 40 points to get them over that finish line to qualify for a lower um, mortgage interest rate, it takes less than 10 days for that those points to show up. And that's the average score. When I did it, uh, before I actually purchased my home, I joined and used our service myself. My score just went up 15 points, but I have a, a friend whose score went up 104 points. Wow. So it differs from person to person. So all you have to do is go onto the website at rentalkarma.com, go through the steps to see if you pre-qualify. It takes just literally a couple of minutes. And then let's say you qualify, you get through the gate like that. It takes just a few days for us to go through the system, go through your registration, contact your landlord, get a verification that you are paying your rent. And what separates us from everybody else is the few other players in the game, we won't mention their names. <laughs> what mm -hmm. separates us from them is that you don't have to have a bank account or some kind of online login for us to verify. We will contact landlords directly on your behalf. We are very people powered and we're very people centric, which is why we created this in the first place. We're for the 109 million renters that are out there. And we want to make sure that everyone is benefiting from this program who can. Um, and I wouldn't even say program. I would say the service if they can. So, yep, go to rentalkarma.com, see if you pre-qualify. Most people will. And just take those steps and within 10 days of signing up and going through that verification process, you will see your score increase and change on your credit report, your Equifax and your TransUnion credit report. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull that up right now. Let's go to rentalkarma.com. Let's take a look at it. And <laughs> so you website. see, you go here onto the website <laughs> yep. and you just click on to your own profile itself, right? Yeah. So here we have... As you can see, I have the question, do you know you can bill your credit rent? Because most people don't even know that this is still possible. Like most people, because this just became possible over the last few years, right? So people don't even know that this is possible to happen and it's able to happen. And so we, we, you know, we pose that question for everyone out there who needs to learn about the process. And then, yeah, at the very top of the website, we have up there that it's free to get pre-qualified. So they click on that button right there or they click on that get started button and they go to the form to fill out, it takes less than a couple of minutes to give their, their first name, their, their last name, their just general information. And they go, follow through the prompts, follow through the, the, the small process and the information gets to one of our um, intakers in our corporate office and they will contact and make sure that everything's legitimate. And then boom, you are onto the next step to, to get your information put onto your credit report as it should be that rental history and those rent payments in your credit report. Okay, awesome. Now I gotta think about this, right? So okay. for parents out there who has that child, for the parents out there who have those children that may stay at home while they're in college or they may stay at home while they are figuring life out, things like that. Mm -hmm. So they may have to pay rent to their parents or whatever. Can, if my son stays at home with me and I'm his quote unquote landlord, can I have that reported on his um, credit report through Rental Karma? Yes, you can. As long as we can call them, verify and make sure that, you know, the, the amount that you say, everything is legitimate, that is fine. Now let's say someone's, let's say someone is subleasing from another individual. That is something that doesn't qualify, right? Mm. It's um, and no past leases qualify. So let's say someone has, um, you know, they're like, hey, I, I lived at 1111 Main Street in 2015, and now I live at this address. We only report your current address mm. where you are currently listed. That's what we report. Um, and yes, if so, if we can verify that you're paying and you show that, yep, I'm paying this amount of money to my parents and there's a way to, to verify that, we will definitely take that on as a qualification for the rent reporting. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to take a quick break and I mean a very quick break and we're going to be back more with Miss Fina Jackson and Rental Karma. So guys and girls and children of all ages, y'all stay tuned as we take a quick break and we'll be right back. Oh. 
Aloha. I'm Dan Leaf. I go by Fig because I was an Air Force fighter pilot for 33 years, and you have to have a nickname. I get to host on Think Tech Hawaii two shows, Figments, The Power of Imagination, and Figments on Reality. The Power of Imagination introduces you to some of my incredible friends and their life experiences, astronauts, war heroes, Hollywood writers, you name it, they're on it, and you'll be inspired and entertained. And on reality, I'll give you something hard to find, non-political commentary on today's events. That's right, non-political, because the vitriol doesn't help folks. So figments, the power of imagination, figments on reality, both on Think Tech Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, you are now back here live with your host, Prince Dykes, the Prince of Investment, coming to you guys and girls live all the way from the beautiful city and state of Denver, Colorado, via Honolulu, Hawaii. So if you missed earlier, if you just tuned in now, or if you missed the early beginning of the show, we were talking about rental karma, using, utilizing your rent in order to increase your credit score. If you were like me and so many of, many of Americans, and people across the globe, most of the time your rent was not included in helping you build your credit score. So things I did to build my credit score was, I went out and got a credit card, you know, thank God I was responsible with it. I went out and took out loans, thank God I was responsible with that, but I was paying rent the entire time, entire time before I purchased my home. The whole time I was purchasing my rent, none of that went on, reflected onto my credit report in return, that did not help out my credit score. So when I purchased my home, purchased my car, it's more than just purchasing a home. When you purchase your home, your car, all type of thing, everything we do in our lives are connected to our credit score some type of way. So now today, we have Rental Commerce Chief Communication Officer who's live with us from Houston, Texas, Ms. Fina Jackson. She is joining us here, joining us here live today. And Ms. Jackson, I wanna ask you this question. How what makes rental karma, what is the competitive advantage that rental karma has over some of the competitors out there that said, hey, we can repair your credit, we can make you better. What are some of those advantages? So the, the major advantage is that we stick to what we know, right? We are a rent reporting agency. We're not trying to do credit counseling over here, or do this over there. We say, hey, we're going to come in and report your rent, your biggest bill that you have every month. We're going to make sure that you're getting something out of paying that bill, of course, other than a roof over your head, right? Mm -hmm. And what separates us from the other companies that are doing what we're doing in rent reporting is that we are very people powered. So I, I know that you're probably aware of this, but 46% of, of Americans are underbanked and they do not have bank accounts or you know, traditional, they don't use traditional checks and even online portal systems to pay their bills. They may be using cash, Venmo, PayPal. They may be writing a personal, uh, personal check from you know, an account or they could actually be going to their local grocery store and getting a money order. We will find ways to verify their payments if they somehow do not have a bank account or they do not have an online system that does a direct draft from a particular bank account, we find a way to verify that so that they can get it, their rent payment can get accounted for. And most other companies do not do that. They depend on a person having a bank, a standard bank account and using an online system to make that payment every month. And a lot of people do not make their rent payments that way. Okay, so you're tapping into that 40% 40 market that is under um, underbanked. Mm -hmm. So essentially, you're saying people with who utilize Venmo and uh, Cash App and, you know, the plethora of uh, payment plans out there, Rental Karma can actually use that to verify it. Yep, we I'm can. Correct on that? Yes, and we are, uh, we don't just rely on the algorithms and our IT and our technology, although we do have great technology, we rely on our people. We have a we have great staff, a very diverse staff of people of color, women. Um, just our, our diverse staff really does represent the American people. We are Spanish speaking as well, so we have a, a large population of immigrants uh, from different parts of the world, and particularly from South America and Mexico as well, who um, are probably immigrants in America. And even if they're undocumented, we can find a way to verify their living situation and verify them and actually help them create a credit profile for the first time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when we look at the, the landscape of it itself, you know, looking back on it, um, I think that, you know, 
me being big on children's financial literacy, finding ways to start kids investing early, helping them build their credit early, mm -hmm. getting them insurance early, uh, even getting them into real estate early, you know, with purchasing them land, things like that, houses if you can or whatever. Um, what are some ways that you think that people can enhance their lives? Like, you know, how can they add this to their ecosystem of how they're living um, to better themselves, essentially? To, uh, thank you for asking that. So two ways. The first thing is if you are renting under no circumstance, should you not have your rent reported? Your rent needs to be on your Equifax, your TransUnion. And when we sew up that relationship with uh, Experian, it's going to be on there as well. Um, our fee is like $8.95 a month, which to me is a very small price to pay to get those extra points where now you're stepping into another financial viability bracket, right? You're stepping into a bracket to where your car payments interest rate is going to be lower. Your credit card interest rates are going to be lower. It's very expensive to be impoverished in America. I, and I, I hate to say it like that, but it's a reality. It's very expensive to be poor in America. The interest rates are higher. Your bills are higher. Everything is higher. Everything is more expensive for the poor. And I say that as someone who used to be poor. I remember struggling and struggling financially throughout the years up and down and not being able to, to get over the fact that I had a 16% prime sub rate on my SUV, right? So... Things like that, it's expensive. It's expensive. So uh, getting your rent reporter a raise your score, which will help you to step on to that next level of financial viability. Also, for individuals who want a little bit of a side hustle, we have a refer your friend program inside of Rental Karma. So let's say you are a person who's on Rental Karma and you see that it worked for you and increased your score. We can give you a code to use that you can pass along to your family and friends, or you can just give them your email address since you're already in our system and you'll get $25 for every single person that you refer to Rental Karma. So it's almost, so there's a way for it to be a little bit of a side hustle for people who want to sort of get some extra money on the side. And we have influencers and individuals who are doing very well because they, they've signed on to our ambassador program. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. so now I got to ask you this question. I mean, I, I have to have to commend you on Rental Karma. When I saw it, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I remember being there myself when you know trying to build my credit i remember getting my first cell phone i always tell this story the first thing i went and brought i went and brought my first cell phone when i got a boot camp i was 18 years old it was a sprint phone and they said hey um we got to pull your credit to see what your credit score is going to be and when i went to go when they went i said well you know my credit score got to be good because I, I never used it and i came back and i realized <laughs> that no credit was the same thing as bad credit yes. so I ended up having to pay like five, six hundred dollars down just to get a cell phone at the time. And then I was kind of like, well, what can I do to help build my credit? Because at that time I had never used my credit in my life. And I had friends, they went out and got credit cards and they took out loans, but they wasn't responsible with them. So it kind of started that downward hill trot, even though they did it just to help themselves end up hurting themselves. So exactly. I definitely commend you. Uh, commend you guys and girls for <laughs> uh, starting Rental Carmen. I think it's pretty cool for people out there to turn around. And I think a good target will probably be military people because there's a yes. lot of single military people that are, or even, or even married that are probably renting because they move around so much to moving from city to city to state to state every one or two or three years, depending. Mm -hmm. And they may not have purchased their first home yet. So this yeah. could be a way to say, Hey, everybody's paying rent, everybody's paying for something. So no, I want to ask this question. Is it just rent that you report or do you report things like my cell phone or things like that? So we just report rent right now, but we are mm -hmm. stepping into other reporting through our partners and we'll roll out that information in some of our newsletter and social media as soon as we flesh some of those partnerships out. But right now we are just reporting rent and we, you know, are just really focusing on getting more people into that particular service. We've helped over 70,000 members to get their rent featured onto their credit report, but that's just a drop in the bucket, right? When you have 109 million Americans out there who are renting, we don't know what we don't know. And what we're learning is that people don't even know that this uh, exists, that mm -hmm. this is even a possibility to be added. And when I go onto my social media and I just casually will say, and someone's 
thing like, hey, if you guys want to, you know, boost your credit, if they're talking about credit, if you guys want to boost your credit, go to rentalcarma.com if you're renting and get your rent put on your credit. That'll help uh, quite a bit. And they're like, wow, you know, and then when they do it and they realize, man, my score went up 65 points or 85 points. That's that's a major difference. That's a major difference. And um, but even between when you're getting ready to purchase a home, that's a major jump to just help you get a lower mortgage interest rate, which could save you tens of thousands of dollars over the 30 years loan or even a 15 year loan. Okay. Now I got to ask you this question. You know, if you feel comfortable with, with answering it. Okay. What's next <laughs> for Rental Karma? What's next is we are rolling out our ambassador program. So we have our Refer Our Friend program where we are giving people that access to make more money off of our services. But we have recorded content and videos and information from some select NFL legends, because mm. that's one thing that we are trying to educate Americans on is that some of our professional athletes out there are still renting. Some wealthy people rent because they're just not interesting in the, interested in the upkeep of either purchasing a home or like you mentioned, people in the military who travel from state to state or even sometimes overseas. Uh, a lot of our professional athletes don't know if they're going to be in a state for more than a few years and they don't want to buy. They, they are comfortable with renting, you know? And so we want people to understand that uh, it's not people of a certain socioeconomic status that are renting. Americans of every socioeconomic status are renting. And we're going to really tell that story through some of our content that we're going to be rolling out here soon. And we have some great um, tech partnerships along the way with some great credit building apps that we're working with. And our, our next step is just to expand and grow. Our goal is that we can get a million individuals into our system to help them with this particular process. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Well, before we get out of here today, I want to open up the floor to you. This is when I open up the floor and this is your opportunity out there for anybody that is watching live, that's going to catch the playback, that catch the audio version, how they may catch this. What, what do you want to leave them with? How can they follow you? How can they get more, all the great stuff like that? Yes. Well, my, my name is Phoenix Jackson. You guys can find me on Instagram at fly Phoenix Jackson, but for Rental Karma, just go to rentalkarma.com. You can follow our services there or even follow us on Instagram at Rental Karma. So the spelling R-E-N-T-A-L-K-H-A-R-M-A. -A. We are on Instagram. We are new to Instagram. We're new to TikTok. Actually, our biggest followers are on our Facebook but uh, we are really trying to grow our social media. We would love for you guys to follow us, connect with us. We have great incentive programs that we offer on there and great contests that we're rolling out. We're going to be giving away all kinds of fun uh, items and money coming up for the holiday season for people to tell us their story of how Rana Karma has helped them. We're always doing all kinds of cool contests. We're going to do a, a rent paying contest soon. We're going to pay someone's rent every month. So mm. follow us. And hey, you may be that lucky person who rent we pay in the month of November and December. You never know. Connect with us on Instagram right. at Royal Karma. I might get my rent paid, you know. I'm going to get my follow <laughs> on too. So <laughs> definitely, 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 uh, definitely been um, great to have you on. Thank you. And um, great to have you on. And uh, if you ever need to come back, this one is definitely just let us know. All right. I will. I appreciate you so much. And I love the work that you all do here at Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, until the next video podcast, book, or whatever else crazy you see me do around the globe, my name is Prince Dykes. This is the Prince of Investment. Peace, be safe. I'm out. And thank you. Mm -hmm.